Hello and welcome back. I'm Randy Newbert from Voodoo FX. In today's video, we'll be doing another model kit review. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're back here today with another model kit review. And in today's video, we're gonna, this is kind of a special treat we're doing. This is the model, studio scale model from Explorers, uh, the Thunder Road. And uh, uh, this is brought to us by uh, Dream Studios. This is a large scale 3D print model, um, both available in a 3D print and also available as a standalone um, 3D printed model that you can just buy as a model kit. So let me just get into the main basics of it. Um, again, uh, they've really stepped up their game with this large scale piece. Um, this is a really high quality 3D model. And again, let me just go ahead and start off with uh, just to give you kind of a general idea. And I've got these parts kind of just loosely fit in here. But if you can kind of tell just by me holding this piece in hand, I you can see the scale of this piece is just mind blowingly large. Um, and, uh, again, very accurate to the, uh, the original, uh, studio used miniature that they used in the film. And, uh, again, this comes in multiple pieces. Um, these are, this is a separate casting part or a, uh, a print part. And then, uh, it comes like with a base and all this. So let me just kind of just break into it. So let's just start off with the bottom half of it. And in the bottom half, it comes with this nice base piece. Um, and again, I'll have some broken away shots here for you guys to kind of see uh, what this looks like in a little more detail. But here, this is, a, again, just to get the scale and the size of this model just with the base alone, um, this chassis part, uh, this, this part alone is, you know, reference rise. This is about a nine and a half inch long um, base piece. So this is just a humongous uh, model of this, uh, this Thunder Road. So nice quality, uh, very accurate. Again, one solid uh, base piece. This is all hollow um, and all hollowed out and um, pretty much ready to go. You know, a little bit of cleanup here and there. Like any of these models, um, you know, any kind of model building you're going to be doing, it's always going to require a little bit of, uh, you know, cleanup, sanding, priming, uh, filling, and painting. So uh, very typical model building skills. But again, this is how it comes, uh, just right out of the box. So next on the list, again, I think I'll bring this face piece up into it uh, just because I, I, I just love the, again... I'm going to stand into this a little bit and show you guys the scale of this piece. Um, and these are the windows that you see, you know, inside the model. This is cut away for the uh, garbage can that sits in the front. And again, um, I'm going to flip it around. You can see the backside. And this is the backside or the inner part. And again, just to give you the, again the scale. I mean, this thing is just huge as far as uh uh model kits go i i uh really excited about the scale so anyway so this part nets into this then it comes with a a series of again i'm just going to go kind of back through it slowly here but what it does is this piece kind of just nests on the top here and then it just kind of sits inside the base and then it comes with a, a top half part and this top half part is basically the back side of the tilt-a-whirl um, as far as the uh, overall uh, piece. It's got all the proper cutouts. There's little tiny um, mark markings out here on the top for the three little white Christmas tree lights that are on the top. And again, um, nice quality print. Um, again, big scale, nice piece. Um, and then again, uh, here's the bottom and this part is literally like sits flat down onto the base and I'll kind of mock it up and put it on there for you kind of quickly. 
and this part itself um, is also doubles for the interior so this is like the back bench wall and then you know the the whole seat assembly sits inside here and just kind of rest into this area and again it has a full-blown interior with this model too so again nice uh nice quality uh parts here and again this kind of just sits on the top here and i'll just give you kind of a rough mock-up but there's like there's the back side of it and this just kind of just gives you an idea of again uh, scale and proportion of this kit and then this piece just literally sits right in the back here and then it just kind of nests forward a little bit with this and then here's your basic this is your basic model but again you know just look at the mammoth scale of this thing it's just huge um i'm still blown away at the scale um and uh, don't ask me to give you guys a scale. Um, uh, let's just say it is a big studio scale model. It's based off the original studio model. So, uh, and I have a couple of still shots of that as well, of what the uh, original um, the original model and what this one was mocked up uh, to. Uh, you know, this is this is what they went for when they designed it. So, so that is the main structure of the model. Then we've got, you know, we've got some little miscellaneous parts. Uh, this is a tire piece. Um, and this part just literally uh, slides right into place here. And uh, it is kind of keyed into this spot. But this just kind of just snuggles up into this little spot. And without me, again, um, without setting parts or doing them permanently, kind of just kind of lays in there. And then you've got this really nice detailed uh, garbage can. And the garbage can itself, um, this can uh, is all hollowed out. And it's set up for, uh, you could put a, pop a little 9-volt battery in here. And uh, this will take care of all the power source for the lighting. And then it's also got a little tiny uh, a lid that goes on the top. And then on the top of this little lid section... Uh, you you would mount the little um, they have the little space shuttle that mounts on the top here, and again they thought of all this the, all these little parts with it. So I'm just going to kind of just test mock this up and just kind of rest it in there. But that's basically where the can sits. So now you kind of get an idea of you know how it's kind of starting to come together. Um, also another um, larger pieces that they have for this model. Um, they have both the ladder stanchions that are set off. Um, so they've got both little ladders that are set up when they climb into the ship. Again, nice little detail, nice little finished uh, setup that they have for it. So it kind of has like this little, you know, you can kind of mock it up like this. But I don't know if they'll stay here because it's just slippery on the bench. But anyway, I think you get the idea. So these are set up to be on the outside. And it's going to sit up a little taller, too, uh, because of the way that the model is designed. It's set up on these little casters, and these little casters are actually going to be, um, they pull it up another inch. And then again, it's got the three little riding wheels. And again, these little wheels are mounted on the very bottom of the base. Again, you can see the kind of the quality in the... Uh, these are just beautifully printed parts. And again, these will be available. Um, Dream Studios has a deal with um, uh, with 8K Miniatures. So you can literally just order it right there. You, you will bypass uh, trying to order the file. And you can just go ahead and just buy it as a model kit. Um, and I will have a link in there for you to go ahead and order it. And uh, uh, Sean does an awesome job at uh, doing the prints and putting out a really good quality uh, uh model model kit parts for it so and again so far you know overall this has been a pretty easy fit up um and again it's you know just the accuracy uh dream studios uh chris over there at dream studios really did a good job at uh keying all the parts really well and you know really studying the uh, studio model so you got a really good rendition of it 
anyway so this is it um this is drilled out in the bottom here so it, again so this is not a solid model this is actually uh uh you know a hollowed out model so these parts are relatively light um there are some mods that need to be done for that anyway it got the little air canister so they got their little air tank that they brought in their little scuba tank and uh nice little again nice little details you know these are these are awesome little detail parts um they also have uh in the smaller stuff there's a little coke can that comes with it it's kind of cool you know just a little these little knickknack parts that are in the interior the uh earmuffs or the headphones that they wear um that the one uh the one actor wears in it it's kind of nice you know again uh, these are nice little uh detailed surprises that come with the kit and let me move over so let, let's let's go over here so here's the main wings and these are just really nicely well done parts and these sit on both of the outside areas and what's really cool is they already thought about it for lighting so if you can kind of see in there they actually have a small holes drilled out to run wire through there and to put uh, lights out for the, uh, th these are the little red lights, the little Christmas tree lights that are on the end. But again, uh, they were thinking about uh, uh, the wing lights uh, in the process of doing the design work. So that's a real, a real plus, a real bonus. That you don't have to dig into that. And anyway, when it's all said and done, they kind of mount like right on the outer areas here and they kind of rest, one rests on the inside and one rests on the outside. And they kind of just sit in there like that, kind of mocked up. And again, since I don't have it all uh, fully put together yet, I can't, you know, I have to off to fit these as I go. But again, really nice, high quality. So there's the wings. Um, without jumping around too much, here is the back um, one-way uh, street sign piece. This is a solid, uh, a solid 3D print. Nice. Uh, I do have, uh, I'll show in the end, the actual decal. There's a decal sheet that comes with this that has all the markings for the model itself, which is the, uh, uh, it has the lightning bolts on the side and, uh, and all the, um, there's some internal uh, uh, decals that are set up for that too. So again, you know, it comes with a decal set. And uh, let's see here, let me move on here. This will be a little bit harder to see, but here's the little tiny um, space shuttle. And again, this is uh, mounted on the top of the can. So when you go to get the can here, it just kind of, and again, uh, for accuracy, it's, it's just awesome. So this kind of just sits on there on the top of the can. And there's the uh, mock-up for the space shuttle that they had on there. Again, it, it's it's a really cool little piece to add on to there as far as like a, a detail part. Okay, so inside, and uh, let me go, over, let me finish off some of those more of these exterior parts first. So here is the top little suitcase part. Again, very detailed. Um, great, it's got a little handle on the top here. It's all a, um, a one-piece print. Again, some large drain holes in there, so it's a very lightweight piece. Um, and that's pretty much ready to go. And that kind of just kind of sits right on the top there. I'll just kind of fit it in there loose. There it is. And then um, also, he has the Accurized. Here is the uh, front screen. And this is the TV screen that you see that goes over the main square in the front there and that's kind of like um you see it that's what they kind of look out of it's one of their windows that they they can look from i'll just kind of set it up on there you kind of see it and then uh they also have these uh accurate um to the filming miniature these are the uh washing machine uh uh doors that are a left and a right and they go into the, you know, they fit on the sides here. I can't really mock these ones up. I could probably leave them in here real loose just to kind of give you an idea. And they just kind of just sit in there. And again, they just get mounted on the top there. And then again, you can kind of see it's starting to come together now. You know, as far as the model goes, 
you can kind of get a good idea of what it's going to look like. Um, again, you know, really nice quality parts. And then this is kind of like a couple little bonus features here. So back into the interior, uh, and then they have these little grab handles. There's a grab handle on one side. Uh, there's the rear view mirror that's mounted on the side of the frame. Uh, also another little small part. Now, um, they also have these two parts and these two parts are the top searchlights and these can be easily, uh, drilled out and set up for a, uh, for, for lights. So we will have a full lighting package for this and uh we will include some lighting there'll probably be some like warm white three millimeters in here maybe uh, uh a five millimeter at the most but you know um easy enough to light again they need to be drilled out a little bit but yeah piece of cake okay so that's that now i'm gonna go finish off with some of the more of the smaller interior parts so this comes with they have this little briefcase that's you know it's seen in the in the movie and it's just kind of sitting down on the on the back bench there and then they have this neat little part um this is the uh the air filter or the air uh pump that they use to create the air inside the capsule um but again uh, the dream studios did a great job at figuring out all these little small little details that are inside the interior so again you're gonna you're gonna get a very accurate uh studio rendition of this model um and then as one of the final parts um it comes with the full interior um stand for not only the top monitor but like the battery box is in here the little tiny keyboard is on the top there neat little again sits right inside there it's right where that means that main square screen is and then what they've done and which is this is really cool so they have this old macintosh um it's 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 it, i love this stuff because again i i i like the flair that uh chris puts into it is this is like the old you can see it's like the old floppy disk uh drive in the front I thought that was a really neat little added feature that comes on the um, the monitor, and again, it's got the the, the original grid on the top. And anyway, so it kind of just mounts right up on there, but you could just pop a little hole in there and put a little light in there, and that thing would be fully it's fully could be fully lit. This little screen out in the front, little piece of diffusion in there, and that'll be done. So I'll include that when I do make the lighting um for a, a little monitor light in here so that so you can actually it'll look like the little monitors on so anyway so that is the interior uh computer box that runs the model and uh that is almost about it there's some little small little detail parts that come up on here there's a little uh cleanup part it's a little rubber part that goes on the top and the bottom here to kind of take up the gap and uh that is literally the entire model so again um this is an awesome kit uh if you're into uh explorers the movie and uh i i guess i should say is who isn't into explorers the movie um and anyway so this is the basically this is the thunder road from explorers the movie and anyway, I, I suggest if you're into this, um, this is like a classic uh, movie from this time period. And it's really, it's, I mean, it's a must if you're into this style stuff as far as a collectible goes. Um, and it's relatively easy to build. There's not really a lot of parts to it. Um, it does have some very highly detailed interior stuff with it. But overall, you know, this is a this is relatively an easy model to uh, to build up. And again, um, it's nice cause it comes with the decals. Uh, you can buy this, you know, direct, you don't have to go through any hassle. It's a print, uh, you order it to print and basically, you know, uh, uh, you get exactly what you see here. You get all these model parts, 
you clean them up, you put them on, and paint them to your liking and your color and weathering uh, that you like, and that's it. It's a finished model kit. And um, again, I, I think uh, for anybody that's into this uh, this this genre of uh, movies, this is like a number one must. You must have this kit. Um, it's just uh, people really recognize this model. I I when I built the other version, I have the other version of the, Randy Cooper made a model um, some quite quite some years back, and it, it it's also a very you know a very nice iconic piece that he did. And I get people to this day, they just, when they see that model, they're like, I remember that movie. So again, it, it's a really good thing to have in a, in a, uh, for a collector, uh, even, you know, or builder. But again, um, you know, a very recognizable piece from that era. So anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I'll have some descriptions in the link, uh, in my links and more. Uh, about where to order this. You can go direct again to 8K Miniatures to order the model. Um, and uh, you can just, you, you can complete your order right there. It'll be all shipped directly from 8K. And again, we want to thank um, Dream Studios and Chris Adrian for designing this really nice, iconic piece. Um, I, I, again, after looking at closer details of the original filming a uh, studio model uh he really went that extra mile and got all those little tiny things that really make it um uh, a desirable piece so anyway uh if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel please do we also have a facebook group page if you're interested it's called the voodoo effects group it's on facebook you can look it up and please come and join and uh, show us your latest and greatest uh, works in progress. So anyway, so uh, I, I think I'll wrap this video up. And again, uh, thanks for the support and thanks for coming by and watching the video. And we'll see you on the next one.